Good evening, Juan and Adriana. How are you guys? Good evening, teacher. Good Let's evening, see. teacher. Hi, very good to see you guys. Let me just check something. I'm going to check my I'm going to change my background. All right. There you see. Now I think ahora sí creo que les aparece beginners too, right? A ver, me avisan. Ajá, Adriana, les aparece aquí al fondo beginners, beginner too. Yes, teacher. Excellent. Thank you. Tenía que cambiar el background porque vengo de otro curso. All right, excellent. Thank you, guys. So, how are you, Adriana? Hello, Adriana, ¿me escucha? Hello, teacher. Ah, ¿y me escuchan? Sí. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo está, Adriana? Bien. Very good. All right, excellent. Let me share with you the PPT. Vamos a ver quiénes más se van a ir conectando. Meanwhile, vamos a comenzar con usted, ¿ok? Let's see. El otro participante se desconectó. Quizás le falló el internet. Here we go. Let's see. We have auxiliary verbs do and does. Esto lo veíamos ayer, ¿ok? Pero vamos a hacer un pequeño review. De hecho, esta es la PPT del día de ayer, pero ya me voy a pasar a la otra PPT. Esto solo lo he puesto para que hagamos un review breve de esto. Ok, pues lo vamos a ver a la relación al, vamos a ver este contenido de nuevo a medida que vayamos desarrollando la clase. Ok, so let's see. We have, hi Miguel Morales, how are you? Hi, good evening, I'm fine. And you? I'm pretty good, thank you so much for asking. All right, how about Estreberto? Hi Estreberto, how are you? Hello, good evening. Good evening, how are you? Good. Good, all right, excellent. Good to have you in class, let me see. Fabiola Cruz, how are you, Fabiola? Hi, teacher. Hi, how are you? ¿Qué tal, cómo está? Uh, bien, I'm fine. You're fine, excellent. What about... Laura Pamela. Hi, Laura. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. I'm fine. You? I'm pretty good. Thank you so much for asking. All right. Very good to see you in class. Welcome. What about Orlando? Let's see, Orlando. How are you? Hi, Miss. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome back to your English class. Yes, Miss. I'm very happy for this. <laughs> really? Okay, very good. Good to have you in class. All right. Thank you, Miss. Excellent. Welcome back. Let's see, everybody. Thank you so much for being on time to your English class. It's a pleasure to see you. All right. Si sí, me ven con cara de asustada, mis queridos participantes, es porque estaba en un tráfico tan horrible. Ustedes no se imaginan. Bueno, quizás sí se imaginan, right? Pero. Tres horas de tráfico, people. It's heavy. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Vamos a comenzar. Les comentaba a los que se incorporaron al principio de la clase que esta es la PPT que tuvimos el día de ayer. All right. ¿Por qué la estamos viendo de nuevo, Miss? All right. Vamos a hacer un review pequeño antes de pasar al contenido de este día. Necesito que ustedes lleven en mente estas estructuras y este uso del do and a does. Right? Does. Recuerden que esta pronunciation no es do es, right? Así que no me vayan a decir do es. The correct pronunciation is does, right? Here we go. We use do for the pronouns. ¿Qué pronouns voy a utilizar aquí? Adriana Guerra. Adriana, are you there? Como dijo teacher. ¿Qué pronouns? What pronouns am I going to use for do? 
¿Qué subject pronouns voy a utilizar para you? El, a, el, you, you, we, they. Very good. I, you, we, they. And let's see. We have Miguel Morales. Y cuando utilizo el does, Miguel, ¿qué subject pronouns voy a poner? He, she, and it. Very good, excellent, all right? Don't forget, que no se nos olvide, all right? No quiero escuchar por ahí que me dicen, do she, all right? No, we cannot do that. Right. Let's keep into consideration this information and let's move on. We have negative structure. Esto lo veíamos ayer con ustedes, right? Let me see if I can move on this one, yes. Negative structure. Azucena, ¿me hace el favor de leer la estructura? Please. Okay, Miss. Uh, subject plus don't, doesn't, dot, don't or doesn't plus verb plus complement. Excellent, girl. Thank you so much. Very good. Entonces, ya llevamos esto en mente y ayer veíamos estos guiding examples, right? Voy a necesitar que Orlando los lea, please. ¿Puede leerme estos guiding examples? Yes, miss. Oh, un momento. Yeah, sure. Lo siento, miss. Don't worry. No se oh. Pero no va manejando, Orlando. No, no miss. Fíjese que es. Lo que pasa es que he perdido la visibilidad de la pantalla. Oh, really? ¿Y a todos les ha pasado eso? Porque puede ser my internet o your internet. No sé, ahí me confirman, everybody, si en algún momento dejan de ver la pantalla o se les pone negra o algo. Right. I can see the stream. Hi, hello, Jaime, good evening. Good evening, I can watch the screen. All right, excellent, Jaime. So, okay, you... Miss. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Bueno, thank you, Jaime. Thank you. Let's thank go you. with. I'm sorry. Go Give ahead. an example. Yes. Abigail doesn't drive to work. I don't live near home. And number three, Alex doesn't walk to home in the evening. That's correct, sir. Thank you so much. Very good, all right? Entonces teníamos esos guiding examples. ¿Qué vamos a hacer ahora, Miss? ¿Por qué los estamos viendo de nuevo, right? Recuerden esto. If you have an auxiliary verb, don't ask es. ¿Ok? Si tenemos un verbo auxiliar, no vamos a agregarle s, Aunque sea tercera persona, we won't do it. ¿Por qué no le vamos a agregar s? A ver... Manuel, Eduardo, ¿por qué no le vamos a agregar ese? En, en el pasado, teacher. No, in present. Ahorita estamos in present. Because ¿Sí? eh, does lleva S. Does, does, I, I don't, I don't remember the, the rule specific. Ok, don't worry. No se preocupe, pero ya me dijo algo. Nos dio la pista, right? Si tenemos doesn't, no lo utilizamos porque ya tengo. Es decir, yo no puedo poner aquí doesn't drives, ¿verdad? Gramaticalmente eso no está correcto. Ok, entonces cuando yo ya tengo mi auxiliary verb, porque el do es un verbo. All right, cuando yo tengo mi auxiliary verb, ya no necesito agregarle s al verbo que le sigue. Ok, excellent. Thank you, Manuel. Very good. Now, ahora sí, nos vamos a la parte favorita de la clase, right? Let's practice. Esto, esta práctica no la hicimos con ustedes ayer, ¿verdad? No. Okay. Excellent, thank you guys. Let's see, we have three instructions. I'm going to have Jaime. Jaime, can you please read the instructions? The instructions? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's practice. One, work individually. Uh, two, create at least 
three sentences using simple present. And three, you can use auxiliary verbs, don't or doesn't for negative statements. Excelente. Ya ayer veíamos, ustedes recuerdan, veíamos el simple present, la estructura normal, ¿verdad? La que solo lleva el subject, el verb y el complemento. Entonces ustedes pueden hacerlas en afirmativas, sus oraciones si quieren. Las hacen en afirmativas, pero si las quieren hacer en negativas, recuerden utilizar sus auxiliares. Do or doesn't, dependiendo del subject que estamos utilizando. ¿Ok? Let's work. Si a medida de ustedes van desarrollando las sentences, les surge una duda, no duden en preguntarme. ¿Ok? Have you finished? Si tienen dudas, pueden preguntarme, right?
Have you finished? Yes, miss, no? Okay, that's a no. Ok, let's get started. Recuerden, no hay que complicarnos mucho aquí, right? Porque ustedes solo tienen que tener un verbo sencillo, cualquier verbo que ustedes quieran tener, right? Solo recuerden colocar bien su sujeto y luego poner el complemento. Para que se les facilite el uso del simple present, piensen en daily routines, rutinas diarias, right? ¿Cuál sería, cuál sería en español una rutina diaria que nosotros hacemos en la mañana? Despertar. Exactly, very good. After Take a shower. Uh -huh. hmm. We have two devices. See? ¿Sí? ¿Qué otra actividad hacemos in the morning? Take the breakfast. Take the breakfast. <laughs> y nadie se baña. Uh -huh. Take a shower. <laughs> I take a shower. <laughs> shower, exactly. Very good. Ah, ya me estaba extrañando. Dije yo, hmm, they don't take showers. Uh, uh, I, I, I go to exercise. Right, excellent. Very good. Bye. Ahí lo tiene. Entonces, vamos a ver. Me regalan un segundo. Solo les contesto a sus compañeros en el chat. Bye. Ahora sí. Voy a ir preguntándoles uno por uno, right? All right. Vamos a ver. Let's get started with Laura Pamela. Okay, Laura, dígame sus sentences, please. Um, pero no sé si están bien. Don't worry, no se preocupe, para eso estamos, para ayudar. Uh, Alex doesn't eat meat. Mm -hmm. I don't live in Aguachapán. She doesn't work in Walmart. All right. Yes, Laurita, they are good. Están muy bien, excellent. Very good. Que negativa, Laurita. Todas las hizo negativas. <laughs> All right, excellent. Very good. Let's go with Manuel Eduardo. Let's see, Manuel, give me the sentences. I'm not dead right now, teacher. I, I'm working. Ah, you're working. All right, all right. Don't worry. Let's see. Or working on sentences. Let's see, let me have Estreberto Reyes, please. Tell me your sentences. Do I have Estreberto in class? Okay, let's go with Miguel Morales then. I don't want to work. Mm -hmm. I don't listen to music at night. Y, uh, we don't work much. Más. No trabajamos mucho. Ah, we don't work too much. We don't work too much. Yes. Okay. All right, excellent, Miguel. Very good. Very, very good sentences. Azucena, your turn. Yo también las hice negativas, teacher, porque pensé que eran negativas las que teníamos que hacer. <laughs> ok, don't worry, no se preocupen, pero um, si más, les di la opción, ¿verdad? Las 
podían hacer afirmativas o negativas. Excelente. Eh, eh, he doesn't to sing country music. Eh, you, you don't have a pet. Um, Mercy doesn't study French. Study French. That's correct. Excellent. Thank you. Let's see, Jose Orlando, your turn. Okay, Miss. Number one, I walk to my school in the morning. Number two, my brother takes a bus to work. Mm -hmm. Number three, uh, my family and I live in the Inglaterra or England. Can you repeat number three, please, again? Uh, my family and I live in England. All right, very good. Very good, that's correct. Excellent. Thank you. Let's go with Lourdes. Aunque no recuerdo Lourdes, si usted se acaba de incorporar ahorita. No, 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 ya, ya las tengo hechas. Okay, Okay, uh, one, you read a book, we practice for this time, and she don't live in Tokyo. That's correct, thank you, girl, very good. Ronnie Avalos, let's see, Ronnie, tell me your sentences. Do I have Ronnie in class? I'm sorry. Um, me acabo de incorporar. But uh, uh, I can't say, um, what do you say? Um, I take the dinner. I have dinner. I have dinner. Um, I go to work. Uh, this morning? I go to work every day. Every day. So, um, that's it. All right. Very good, Ronnie. That's correct. Excellent. Very good. Those, those sentences are good. Let me go with. Let me see. Voy a revisar el chat box para ver quiénes me faltan. Okay, ya tengo a Juan, tengo a Jaime, tengo a Carla. Okay, entonces me falta Adriana Guerra. Adriana, tell me your sentences, please. A light ring of blue. I don't like, I, I like to, no, no, perdón, me equivoqué. I don't not like coffee. I don't, I don't like that red shirt. Creo que se dice. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo digo? I don't like that red shirt. Ah, shirt, all right. That's correct. Excellent. Very good, Adriana. All right, everybody. Entonces, espero que con esto ya quede un poco más extenso o ampliado el tema del do or el does, right? Voy a dejar de compartir esta PPT que les mencionaba al principio, right? Que esta no es la PPT de la clase. Ok, ahora sí, ¿ya ven la nueva PPT? Yes, Miss. All right, excellent, thank yes. you. Right. Yes, Miss. Let's move on. We have class number two, all right? ¿Qué tenemos por aquí? Esta practice la hicimos ayer, pero si ustedes recuerdan, yo les iba preguntando el how do you get to work, right? Entonces, ¿qué vamos a hacer ahora? Ahora les toca trabajar in pairs, right? Aquí, en frente de todos. Y uno de ustedes va a preguntar that question, which is pretty easy peasy for you. Y luego tenemos las options o ustedes pueden crear sus propias opciones, right? Ya que sabemos utilizar el simple present. Así que vamos a trabajar en pairs. Um, voy a ir pidiéndoles a cada uno de ustedes. Voy a conversar con 
Sandra, Yanira, Sandra, usted va a preguntar y Juan Francisco, usted va a responder. Action. Okay. How do you get to work? I drive to work. Right, excellent. Now let's go vice versa, Juan. Ahora usted pregunta, Juan, y Sandra responde. How do you how do you get to work? I I take the taxi. All right, excellent, Sandra. Very good. Let's go with Azucena. Azucena, you are going to ask. Let me see. You are going to work with Jose Orlando, okay? Azucena, usted pregunta. Jose, usted responde. Action. Okay, Miss. Um, how do you get to work, Orlando? I work to my work. No, vice versa. Okay. Susana, how do you get to work? I take the bus. Oh, really? Very good. <laughs> Excellent. Very good, guys. Let me go with Laura Pamela. Laura, you are going to ask. Usted pregunta. And Jaime, usted va a responder. Action. How do you get to work, Jaime? Hi. Well, I try to work. Right. Vice versa, Jaime, you ask. Okay, uh, how do you get to work? I drive to work. Excellent, very oh. good. Okay. Good to know, thank you. Miguel Morales, usted pregunta, and Adriana Guerra, usted responde. And then vice versa, of course, right? How do you get to work? I Outside the bus. How do you do have to go? I drive to work. Right, excellent. Thank you, guys. Adriana, repeat after me. How? How? Do you get? Do you have? Get? Do you get? Okay, esta palabrita se pronuncia get. Get, get, get. get. To work. Get. To go. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. All right. Sé que algunas de estas palabras nos pueden costar porque no las vemos tan seguido, right? Ahora voy a tener a Ronnie. Ronnie, usted le va a preguntar a Manuel Eduardo y Manuel Eduardo, usted contesta. Okay. How do you get to work? I run to my work. Now, vice versa. Uh, Ronnie, Emma. Yeah. Uh, Ronnie, how do you get to work? Uh, I take the bus and sometimes I try to work. <laughs> All right, excellent. Very good. Pretty good, guys. Uh, Even if we have a <laughs> car, sometimes we gotta take the bus, right? Or we gotta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> All right, excellent. Now, let's move on. Bueno, esta practice ya la hicieron, ahora sí, nos movemos a esto. El simple present statements with regular verbs, with irregular verbs. Now, listen, no nos vamos a expandir mucho en este tema de los regular and irregular verbs. Donde lo van a ver más a fondo es en el pasado. Y ahí van a poder comprender en realidad por qué son los irregular, cuándo se convierten en irregular. Ahorita solo vamos a llevar en mente tres verbos que vamos a utilizar en esta forma irregular, right? Tres verbos nada más. Claro está, hay como 200 verbos en forma irregular, right? So, let's see. Con estos subjects tenemos, estos son los subjects. I, you, we, they. Tenemos, I have a bike. We do our, no se les olvide este... Possessive adjective, our, homework, every day. My parents go to work by bus. All right. Ahora veamos cómo cambian estos tres verbos cuando tenemos la tercera persona regular. La tercera persona singular. Okay. He, she, it. My father has a car. Okay. Ya no voy a decir my father have a car. 
No. My father has a car. My mother does a lot of work at home. The bus goes downtown. All right. En estas dos. En estas dos que tenemos aquí, en estos dos verbos. Does and goes. All right. No es goes. Goes. Right. Vamos a tener algunos de ustedes en esta practice porque para este día tenemos bien poco content, right? Pues ahora finalizamos la section one. By the way, antes de que practiquen, quiero preguntarles, by the way, por cierto, vamos en la platform, ya empezaron a navegar en la section one, ya hicimos el primer exercise. Yes, miss. Yes. All right, excellent. And the other ones, no. Recuerden que tienen que avanzar, all right? Yo sé que es difícil porque pasan trabajando. I don't blame you. No lo culpo. It's true. Pero sí recuerden que tienen que avanzar. Y para que yo les pueda ayudar en algún exercise, es necesario que ustedes vayan avanzando, ¿ok? So, let's see. Ahora vamos a tener a... Carla Fabiola. Carla, usted va a decirme las primeras tres sentences. Y Laura Pamela, usted va a decirme las otras tres sentences, all right? One by one, una y una, please. Um, okay. I have a big. My father has a car. We do our homework every day. Um. Mm -hmm. Continue, Fabiola, number three. Ah, no, no escuché, se me trago todo. Um, my parents go to work by bus. The bus goes downtown. All right, excellent. Thank you, girls. Don't forget, everybody, the vocabulary. Miren, si les voy a ser bien honest, ustedes van a notar en uno de los videos donde les dice que la pronunciation, it's really important, okay? So, la pronunciación, recuerden que la mayoría del tiempo cuando estamos transmitiendo eh, palabras en otro idioma, utilizamos la forma oral, right? Entonces, por eso es necesario que la pronunciación esté bien hecha, ¿ok? Vamos aquí, bike, bike, bus, bus, right? No podemos decir bus porque entonces lo estamos diciendo en español. All right, and then we have Spanish English, <laughs> and that doesn't match. Okay, bus. All right, and then we have, vamos a tener a otra pareja por aquí, vamos a tener a Azucena, you are the first three sentences, and Juan Francisco, the other three sentences, please. Action. Okay, I have a bike. My father has a car. We do our homework every day. My mother does a lot of work at home. My parents go to work by bus. The bus goes downtown. Excellent. Very good, guys. Let's go with Lourdes. Lourdes, you are going to be the first three questions and Orlando Echeverria, the other three sentences, please. Okay. I have hey, a bike. My father has a car. We do our homework every day. My mother does a lot of work at home. My parents go to work by bus. Uh, the bus, the bus goes downtown. That's correct. Thank you, Lourdes, and thank you, Orlando. Thank you, Miss. Let's go with Sandra. Janira, Sandra, usted no ha practicado aquí, ¿verdad? En esta, no, pero hoy, eh, hoy en la noche sí, teacher. Ah, ok. Sí, pero en esta, en esta va a practicar ahora, Sandrita. Ok. Let's see, Sandrita, usted va a hacer las primeras tres, las primeras tres sentences. Y Miguel Morales, the other three, please. Action. Ok. I have a bike. My father has a car. We, we do our homework every day. Our homework every day. 
my mother does a lot of work at home. My parents go to work by bus. The bus goes downtown. All right, excellent, guys. Thank you so much. Very good. Ahora, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Solo quiero explicarles esto, ¿verdad? Irregular verbs. Como les mencioné al principio, esto lo van a ver más a fondo cuando estén en el tema del pasado, all right? Past tense. Mientras tanto, solo llevemos estos tres verbos que vamos a estar utilizando, right? Have equals has. ¿Cuándo voy a utilizar has? Déjenme ver. Let's see. Estreberto Reyes, ¿cuándo voy a utilizar has? ¿Lo utilizo con la primera persona o con la tercera persona singular? Are you in class, Estreberto? ¿Con la primera persona? Has, con la primera persona. Tercera. Tercera. All right, excellent. Very good. Thank you. Excellent. All right. And when do I use does? Let's see. Um, let me have. Okay, Orlando, tell me. When do I use um, goes? For third person. For third person. All right. Que no se nos olvide eso. Por eso les estoy preguntando algo. Que quizá ya parece obvio, pero se nos puede olvidar. All right. Here we go. Let's work in this conversation. Simple present questions and conversation. I get up at noon. All right. Primero, yo la voy a decir y después voy a escoger los pairs. All right. Jack, let's go to the park on Sunday. Amy, okay. But let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. Jack. What time do you get up on Sundays? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sundays, I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure. I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at the restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day, okay? Si ustedes al participar en la conversation tienen alguna duda de una palabra, me pueden preguntar, right? No se queden con esa duda. Este vocabulary is really important. Voy a tener a Juan Francisco. Usted va a ser Jack. And let me see. Lourdes, usted va a ser Amy. Action. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get up on Sundays? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sundays, I get up at noon. Do you, do you eat breakfast then? Sure. I had breakfast every day. Then let's meet in this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. Very good, excellent, Lourdes and Juan. Very good, thank you guys. All right, let's go with the next one. I'm going to have a Susana. Susana, you are Amy. And Ronnie Avalos, you are Jack. Action. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get up on Sunday? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sunday, I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast 10? Sure. I have a breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve 
breakfast all day. Sorry, casi no veo. <laughs> all right, excellent, very good. Thank you, guys, very good. All right, let's see. Let me have Adriana Guerra. You are going to be Amy. And let me see if I have another boy. Orlando Echeverria, you are Jack. Action. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time would you get up on Sundays? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sundays, I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Then let meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast hot day. All right, excellent. Thank you, Adriana, and thank you, Orlando. Very good. All right, they do sleep quite a lot, quite a lot of time. ¿Cómo es que logran dormir hasta tan tarde? I don't get it, right? Aquí en El Salvador ya a las 7 ya tenemos calor y nos despertamos. All right, excellent. Thank you, guys. Let's go with Laura. Laura Pamela, you are Amy. And Miguel Morales, Miguel, usted no ha pasado in the conversation, right? No. Okay, so you are Jack. Action. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get? What time do you get up on Sunday? At ten o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sunday, I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast thing? Sure. I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at the restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. Excellent, guys. Thank you so much. Very good. And let me see. Uh, we have Estreberto. Usted no ha pasado, right, Estreberto? No. No. Okay, let me look for you up here. Déjeme ver si encuentro una pareja. Um, Carla Cruz, usted no ha pasado, right? Eh, no, todavía no. Okay, entonces Carlita, usted va a ser Amy. And Estreberto, usted va a ser Jack. Action. Let's go to the bar on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. Uh, what what time do you get on on Sunday? Sunday? No At ten o'clock. Uh, <clears> oh, <throat> um, that's early on Sunday. I get out at at now. Do you eat breakfast then? No, come on. Then. Sure, I had breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. They, ¿cómo se pronuncia esta palabra? Después de day. Serp, mm -hmm. breakfast all day. All right, excellent. Thank you, guys. Very good. All right. Let's see. ¿Tienen alguna question de esta pronunciation? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta en cuanto a esta pronunciación? ¿De alguna palabra que se les dificulte o quieren que haga un review? No, everything is clear. 
Yeah, well, that's fine. All right, excellent. Let's no, move. Me. Okay, very good. Thank Let's you. Thank you. You're welcome. Excellent. All right. Simple present questions. Ya aprendíamos cómo utilizar el do o el doesn't, right? In affirmative and in negative. Ahora vamos a ver las questions, right? Porque es importante que las utilicemos. Do you get up early? No, I get up late. Does he have lunch at noon? No, he eats lunch at one o'clock. Do they drive to work? Yes, they drive to work every day. What time did you get up? At 10 o'clock. What time does he have lunch? At one o'clock. When do they drive to work? Every day. Recuerden que para las double H words, si recuerdan los que estuvieron en el curso número uno, right? Si recuerdan, nos decía la information que para las double H words, cuando tenemos palabras con WH al principio de una pregunta, la intonation va de caída, right? No la vamos a elevar, vamos a bajar, ¿ok? Ahora sí, vamos a tener algunos de ustedes para esta práctica. Um, let me have lower this, lower this. You are going to ask. Usted va a preguntar todas las de do or does. And Sandra Yanira, usted va a responder las preguntas con do or does. Okay, action. Do you get up early? No, I get up late. Does he have lunch at noon? No. He eats lunch at one o'clock. Do they drive to work? Yes, they drive to work every day. Excellent, girls, very good. Let's go with Ronnie Avalos. Ronnie, usted va a hacer las questions. And Carla Fabiola, usted va a responder the questions con double H words, okay? Action. What time do you get up? At 10 o'clock. What time does you have lunch? At 1 o'clock. When do, when do they drive to work? Every day. All right, excellent. Thank you, guys. Let me have Miguel Morales. Miguel, you ask. Laura Pamela, usted responde. You answer. Action. Do you... Do you get up early? No, I get up late. Does he have lunch at noon? No, he eats lunch at one o'clock. Do they try to work? Yes, they try to work every day. All right, very good, thank you. Azucena, you are going to ask, usted pregunta, you are going to ask and Juan Francisco, you are going to answer. Usted va a responder, Juan. Action. Uh, okay, miss. Uh, do, you, do you get up early? No, I get up late. Does he have lunch at noon? No, he eats lunch at one o'clock. Do you take drive to work? Yes, they drive to work every day. All right, excellent. Thank you, guys. Now, let's pay attention to this one. ¿Qué tenemos por aquí? Aquí está la estructura del yes or no questions. Yo sé que siempre se las pongo aparte, right? En grande. Pero ahora quise extraerla directamente del video, entonces así la tengo. La estructura nos dice que tenemos... ¿Qué tenemos por aquí? A ver, Orlando Echeverría, ¿me lee la estructura, please? ¿Do or does? Ok, Miss. Uh, for yes, no question. Structure, uh -huh. do or, or does, plus subject, plus verb, plus complement. Right. Uh, los, los ejemplos también, ¿no? Yes, the example. Okay. ok, example number one. Do you get up early? Uh, for using the uh, do, does does he have does he have lunch at noon? Right, excellent, very good. 
¿qué notan ustedes aquí? Bueno, no les voy a preguntar eso. Mejor yo se los voy a decir, ¿all right? Thank you, Orlando. Si notan ustedes okay. cuando utilizo mi auxiliary does, si se recuerdan, hace unos minutos veíamos que si utilizamos el does, eh, el doesn't, perdón, en negativo, decíamos que ya no le vamos a agregar la S al verbo que sigue, ni vamos a cambiar el verbo, right? En este caso aplica lo mismo. Tenemos el auxiliar does, does. Entonces yo el verbo que voy a poner en la question no lo voy a cambiar. Lo voy a dejar en simple present, right? Have. Okay, lo voy a dejar regular. Have. Lo mismo con get up. No los voy a cambiar. No lo necesito. No me lo pide la estructura. Right? Are we clear? ¿Tienen alguna duda hasta aquí? No, mis. Teacher. Teacher. Yes. ¿Quién dijo teacher? Ah, oh, Ronnie. Ronnie. Okay, Ronnie, tell me. I want a question, but I have some problem, but when you use to, that, uh, what time do you use that, that word? The verb, verb? At what time do I use does? Ajá, das, en do. Ah, ok, very good. Estas auxiliares los vamos a utilizar. Recuerde que el do se utiliza para la first person singular y el das yeah. for third person singular. Uh -huh. Y estos son auxiliares como para preguntar, como para preguntar um, ¿te levantas tú temprano? ¿Y ¿Tienes tú el almuerzo al mediodía? Right? El do o el does son auxiliares, pero no tienen una traducción, una traducción directa, basically, right? Esto lo utilizamos cuando queremos saber eh, un poquito más de información sin necesidad de que sea una yes or no question o sin necesidad de que sea una double H question, ¿verdad? Is it a little bit clear, Ronnie? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> eh, let's see, no se preocupe, Ron. La verdad es que a medida ustedes lo vayan utilizando, se van a dar cuenta de cuándo lo pueden utilizar o no. Right? Sí quiero hacerles bien claro esto. Para el simple present tenemos tres maneras de preguntar. Tenemos con los auxiliares, tenemos con las double H words y tenemos qué otro tipo de pregunta tenemos. Yes, no question. That's correct, sir. Excellent. Thank you. Very good. Que no se nos olvide eso. All right? Let's move on. Ahora tenemos estas por aquí. For double H questions. Para preguntas con WH. Veamos la estructura. Ronnie, ¿me puede leer la estructura, please? Well, the, the question. WH word. Plus do. Uh, das. Plus subject. Plus verb plus complement. All right, excellent, thank you. All right, let's see. Aquí nos dice, va a utilizar una double H word. ¿Cuál es? Den, denme un ejemplo de alguna palabra con double H, please. No, es uh, why. No. Mm -hmm. Why. Otra que no sea what. Where. Oui. When. When, very good, right? Excellent. Qué bueno que se recuerde. Which? <laughs> eh, which? Which? No. Which. Yeah, sí. which. Yes. Yes, that's correct. Excellent. <laughs> De hecho, algunas veces ustedes no van a ver que el which aparece en la lista del double H, pero sí está, ¿ok? Es definitivamente una palabra que va en el double H. All right. And, si ya and, and, uh, where? Perdón, Ronnie. Where? Where también, exactly. Ok, con todas esas palabras, esa es la ventaja que tenemos con la gramática, right? Que nos da amplitud. Podemos utilizarla con diversas palabras, right? Pero si sí hay cosas que les voy a hacer bien claras. Cuando la gramática ya está, a veces no hay explicación directa de por qué se utiliza algo. Ok, no hay una información extracta que diga, ah, esto lo utilizamos por eso y esto. Si ya está así la gramática, no la podemos cambiar. Right? Let's move on to the next one. A student reported Mike start 
talks to people on the street about their schedules. Esta palabra, schedules, all right? ¿Se recuerdan ustedes que yo les decía que para el simple present vamos a utilizar daily activities, right? También utilizamos schedules. Schedules significa eh, horarios, all right? Schedules. Brittany Davis, college student. Voy a necesitar la ayuda de un lector. Let's see, Susana. Me regala la información of Mike, no, of Brittany. And Miguel Morales, usted va a ser Mike. Action. What's your schedule like? My class starts at 8 a.m. So I get up at 7 and, and take the bus to school. When do you, uh, what? Yeah, your, when do you? When do your class end? Um, they end at noon. Then I have a job at the library. So when do you study? My only time to study is in the evening from eight, um, until midnight. How, how do you say uh, until? Oh, pronunciation, perdón. ¿Dónde es ¿Cómo Azucena? se pronuncia esta palabra, Tisha? En Evening. lo último, dice ah. from a until. Until midnight. Until midnight. Until. Until midnight. All right, excellent. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Miguel, and thank you, Azucena. Now I'm going to have Joshua Burns website designer, all right? Let me have Laura Pamela. Laura, you are going to be Joshua. And let me see, Orlando Echeverria, you are going to be Mike, okay? Usted va a ser Mike y todos los demás que aparecen aquí, all right? Bueno, está este, este, okay, este va a ser usted, eh, Orlando, también. Y Laura, no, Pamela, Pamela es right. Laura Pamela, usted va a ser el JB, ok, action. Ok, um, what's your, uh, miss, uh -huh. how do you say, how do you say the, the fear, schedule? Look at me, a schedule. A schedule, mm -hmm. ok. What's, what's your schedule like? Well, I get up at 6.30 a.m. and go go for a room before breakfast. How do you work to work? I work at home. I start work at 8, around 1. I take a lunch break. How late? Do you work? Sometimes I work all night to finish a project. All right, excellent. Thank you, guys. All right, everybody. Con esto terminamos la clase, right? Porque ya es hora. Y no los voy a entretener más, ¿ok? Recuerden, aquí ya finalizamos la section one. Así que ustedes pueden finalizarla también. All right? I'll see you on Monday. Bye. Recuerden, si tienen alguna duda, pueden escribirme, ¿ok? No importa que sea el fin de semana, pueden escribirme. Okay. Gracias. Bye. You're welcome. Bye, everybody. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Happy weekend. Thank you. The Happy same weekend. for you. Bye. <laughs>